Manamana. Manamana. Pamparata. Manamana. Pamparata. Manamana. 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 Welcome to Dice Junkies. I'm Zeno Damus. I'm here with you. And on Skype? Blood X. All right. Let's get started. We, uh, let's see. Starting off, we have. All right. Next up, uh, we're going from New Vegas to Bethesda. So, um, <laughs> Bethesda is dropping its launcher in favor of a return to Steam. Uh, this is. To me, this is a good call for the, for them, but it's also an odd one, being that they are owned by Microsoft. You're so, I'm surprised it didn't uh, make people move their stuff over to Microsoft, and, but instead, they're 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 sticking with Steam, which is brilliant to me because that's where most gamers are. It's um, almost like Microsoft's not the most evil of the two companies. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So do you think, dude? Sony doesn't want to put their stuff in. Steam. They fight hard. Yeah. They just now put. I know. Sony would have you on uh, on Epic on anything they owned, probably. Yeah, they, they would make you go to Epic. If they allowed you on Epic, man, like yeah. I said, they took forever to put some of their stuff on Steam. Um, anyway, the Bethesda launcher, which came out in 2016, is now closing. Uh, basically, Bethesda originally did the Bethesda launcher so they could get around like the cut from Steam and other uh, publishers, but uh, apparently it didn't pay for itself, so... But well, they also don't need it anymore. They got Microsoft money. Well, yeah. But, I mean, the, <laughs> At this you know, point, they're like, we don't need a launcher. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it also goes to, you know, people People talk about, oh, I can't believe Steam takes a cut of all these people's games. Well, this is an example of why. You know, yeah. launchers aren't cheap. And a good designed launcher is definitely not cheap. I mean, um, it, it, to me, there's a secret to the math. If you're going to sell twice as many copies, yeah, then the cut doesn't mean you lost money. Because remember, once you've made a digital game, correct me now because I'm not the tech guy. That's, the, that's this guy. But once you've made a digital game, it doesn't cost anything to send it to people pretty much at that point. Really. Well, I mean, or at least not a lot. Like, that's not what a big expense you is. You have server you hosting and stuff like that, but it's not a huge expense. Yeah. So you want to sell more copies of the game. Even with a cut, you're going to make more net money. And was that a... Pretty fair, except well, yeah. So if Steam is going to get you, let's not say if, double. If it's but a it, good game, yeah, if it's then a good game. yes. <laughs> because the more people you get a good game's hands into, the more people buy it. Because it's a, it does tend to be. I mean, you, you guys, we're, we'll talk about Elden Ring later today. You know, and you know people's experiences with with games, they go out and they'll tell you. Yeah. So you know, should you buy it? What do you think? And, you know? and Steam has weight. A game doing the game that shows up on the top of Steam pages with a lot of weight thrown oh, yeah. around, that might it may not be double. That might be exaggerated. I would say that if you put a game on Steam, it is likely to sell probably thirty to forty percent more copies than it would on mm-hmm. a on a lesser now not Epic because Epic's pretty big now, but a lesser known server like GOG or. The Bethesda launcher. Yeah, it's oh, not yeah. going to sell like it would on Steam. Dude, I often go down to my Steam and look at what's yep. new and trending, what the top sellers are. Of course, see Elden Ring right now, top seller, Dying Light 2. Um, I mean, we're about to segue at a moment to a game that we would have never knew existed if it wasn't for Steam. You know, like, you know yep. what you're talking about? Doing. Oh, yeah. It's a game that literally you've never heard of, except probably oh. from us. Yet... We know about it because Steam yeah. said, hey, you should check this out because of the games. So, anyway, Bethesda is dropping this launcher in favor of the return of Steam. What this means is in come around April, they said they will release uh, detailed instructions that will be provided um, for how to move your game over to Steam. Yeah, you, so. You'll be able to keep your saved games, all that stuff. Um I never liked the ESO launcher, so honestly, I'm looking forward to this because Steam is really, really. It did say good move launcher. save games will also transfer to Steam. One exception for reasons unexplained being Wolfenstein Youngblood. Because um, they don't want to admit that exists, man. Youngblood <laughs> was so bad. Youngblood was so bad. Uh, says, although <laughs> some will require manual transfers, details on that will be provided later. I think um, ESO is on Steam, so you may not have we may not have to transfer. I think ESO is also on Steam, so it may it is, but they were not compatible with each other. 
Um, so let's see what they do. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna I'm, I'm sure we're going to have to do something to get the ESO. Unless they've already just made it compatible, and then all you got to do is just download it because it's free to download. Um, Let's see. As long as you're logged in. The problem is you're probably going to have to link your Bethesda login to Steam somehow so that it knows uh, how to get to your data. Well, I will say this. Uh, I just like we're about to switch over, but I just want to say a little clap of the hand, though, for Microsoft not getting in the way of that and saying, nah, use the Microsoft Store or, or whatever. I do like the fact that it's like they said they're going to let the companies do what they want to mm-hmm. do, and it looks like they are. I will say I've, I, you know, I'm, I'm all about Game Pass. I really like Game Pass, uh, but on my PC, even yeah. though I, I get a discount on some things because I have Game Pass, if I have to buy a game, I buy it through Steam. Oh no, I um, buy it through Steam before Game Pass. I will say that, like for PC, I'm a Steam guy. For console, though, Game Pass. Yeah. Uh, for a portable. Nothing. I don't do that shit. Talk to one of these two. <laughs> I, I mean, I saw that there's yeah. a, a Steam portable. Young yeah, is really excited about it. I was shocked because he's one of the people that followed the Stadia debacle. Yeah. So I really thought he was not, but he seems to be excited. And we'll, we'll talk about that too later. <laughs> All right. It's really dark. <laughs> well, we're, we're run over, we've run over quite a bit. So uh, let's wrap this up. There's so much blood. <laughs> it's got a lot of blood. I'm feeling a little sick. Oh. Oh, it's, it's All right. About it. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Be sure to check out DiceTunnies.com to find links everywhere we are online. Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Uh, go to YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe there so you can see our latest videos as they get posted. Um, also, we do live game streams throughout the week and every Sunday at 3.30 Central Time. We do uh, this live show. Now, next week... Going to go ahead and give you a heads up. We may or may not be able to have a live show next week. We will be down at CoastCon. Um, I'll probably try to do something live, maybe from my phone, on the floor. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, if you can make it, come down to the Gulf Coast and uh, hang out with us at at, at CoastCon. Uh, we'd love to see you. And uh, all right. And as our week. We hope you enjoy. Just a player, just a player, just a player playing his day of day. <laughs> well, then I have to ask you then, what did they do to your tomatoes? They fucked my tomatoes up. <laughs>